I haven't really noticed any tip guides or uh, walkthroughs on Earth Defense Force, so I wanted to cover the classes and uh, explain some things that I've learned as I've played many hours in this game. First, I'm going to cover the Fencer class. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably the best class uh, by far, even over the Wing Diver, uh, mainly because of his mobility and his, his weapon options. Um, as far as his armor, he also gains armor the fastest. He gains uh, one armor for every two armor boxes he picks up, about roughly. Uh, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the weapons and then uh, probably show a few things at the end about uh, movement. Uh, let's cover the CC strikers. As far as this column, the main thing I, I like to use is the hammers, uh, the uh, Vulcan hammers, which is pretty much the highest, well not the highest, but very high burst damage, um, as well as, if you notice, damage reduction, 80%, and then the best one, actually, is 90%. So while you're swinging the Vulcan hammers, you will actually have damage reduction, and that's a large percentage. Um, sometimes I use the Vibro Rollers, those will pretty much just plow through enemies, and but their damage reduction is a lot less, as you notice there. Uh, the blades, sometimes I use those as well, but not as much. Um, one thing about the blades is they will actually shoot through uh, shield screens, so that's one of the only weapons, as far as I know, that shoots through shield screens. Um, it won't attack the actual shield screen, unfortunately, to, to put the shield screen down, but it will attack the enemies inside of it. And the axes sometimes are, are okay. Uh, it really depends on your other setups. Uh, CC piercers, this is going to be your main your main damage column. Uh, uh, the blast hole spear is, it probably in my opinion, one of the best weapons in the game. It, it fires two attacks. The first attack is shorter range, and the second attack is uh, further range and also more damage. Um, the blast holes will pierce through enemies, which is nice, so it attacks many enemies, and as they rush at you, usually you're going to have a, a large group following you, so the blast hole are great for that. Uh, there, do keep in mind there are slow firing blast hole and fast firing blast hole spears. The slow ones are rough to use, so uh, if you get a slow one, don't think that that's the way they all are. There is faster ones that are a lot better. Uh, the flashing spear I do not care for at all. Um, the, the main reason is Whenever you use this weapon, you are locked in place, and you do not want to be locked in place in this game, especially on the higher difficulties. Same with the jackhammer, actually. The jackhammer will also lock you in place as you use it. I mean, you can dash cancel with it, but as soon as you start firing it, it stops you and you and while you're firing it. And also, it does not pierce through enemies, so that's also another negative to it. It attacks one enemy at a time. Um, Spine driver is a good weapon. I like that one as well, especially on the really high difficulties where enemies are so fast that you need fast damage. Um, the blast hole will not fire as fast as the spine driver will as you're running. It does a lot less damage, but it can be more valuable if you're trying to dodge a gold ants or, or something like that. And then the blast twin spears. These things are ridiculous damage. Uh, as you see, they fire two attacks, the first one and then the second one. They're really close range, but they are probably the highest uh, damage per second for close range that he has. Um, so they're good for that, but the negative of them is they, they thrust you forward quite a bit as you, uh, as you use them. So that's, it can be a little tricky to learn how to use them. Um, as far as that's all in this column. Uh, the shields. Uh, shields are, are valuable, but there's only two shields, in my opinion, that are for, of any value, and that would be the reflector level 27 and the level 68 power reflector. Uh, the reason being is, as you see, they have a four second reload, so that's that's great. You can't reload your shield whenever you want, so you have to wait till it's completely out to, re to reload it. And also, if you see the best shield, even the, the great shield here, 15,000 durability, um, it's that 15,000 is nothing on Hardest and uh, Inferno. Um, that'll get destroyed so fast, and then you have to wait 15 seconds to, for it to reload. And uh, also, your movement is slowed down with these with some of these shields. Whereas the power reflector and the reflector do not impinge your uh, in movement at all. You, you can move just as fast as normal. And also, they reflect back at the enemies. I mean, these other ones can as well, but these can reflect a lot faster. And so you can use the own, the enemies' uh, projectiles against themselves, and uh, it's it's really valuable. 
especially on Silver Kings, uh, Silver King spiders, uh, you can one or two shot them with their own uh, with their own web with the the power reflector. And uh, oh yeah, also one thing for the uh, blast twin spears, there is a benefit with the twin spears in in that it avoids a lot of stun lock. As you're getting attacked by enemies, you'll be stun locked sometimes, especially with machine gun fire and drones and so forth. But the benefit of the twin spears is it can avoid that by uh, thrusting you through that uh, that uh, animation where it's, it's where it's stunning you. Let's see what else. Um, automatic artillery. This section I really don't use too much, and the main reason is because you. Uh, you can't be mobile while you're using these weapons. Um, the only thing you really can do is have a dash set up on one on one one set of weapons, and then have these on the other set, and then dash to a safe spot, and then shoot for a while, and then dash somewhere else and shoot for a while. But I don't find that very valuable or uh, much useful, actually. Um, and so, which is unfortunate because these are these weapons are kind of fun to use. Uh, one thing I do use though is the disruptor. There's a disruptor, a few disruptors. Um, and these things do ridiculous damage, and especially if you dual wield them. If you want to take out a high target, a high health target quickly, and you don't have much to do in the level, um, you want to use one of these things. But uh, do know that you can't reload them. So once they're out, they're out. But but look at that: 160 damage times 60 a second, and 1500 capacity. So that's ridiculous. Um, sometimes underground, these can be used, the Gatlings and the revolvers, but it's it's very limited, and I really don't use them too much. This section is very valuable. Uh, there's NC cannons. Uh, NC cannons are probably my favorite, uh, one of my favorite weapons. It has the, it penetrates your enemies, and it has a good range. It does arc a little bit, so that's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of a little difficult to to get used to that, but uh, it's got a quick reload, 3.5 seconds on this one. And then there's the heavy cannons. These things slow down your movement and have a really good range and uh, penetrate as well and have high damage but uh, they're very slow they, they slow you down but I do use them uh, with a dash setup which I'll show you later um, cannon shot sometimes I'll use it's got good range but the reload is really rough on it um, and then here we go the catapults the catapults are uh, are the, the, how you how you dash cancel in this game? Pretty much what dash canceling is is this section over here has weapons that will let you dash forward with the secondary fire, and then there's an animation after you dash before you can dash again. However, when you have a catapult, javelin catapult level 14, or the javelin catapult, the twin catapult level 52, those are the only two that work. The storm doesn't work. Um, what that'll do is when you fire the catapult, it'll reset the animation timer and then you can dash right again, quickly again. So you can pretty much fly across the map with the catapults. And uh, I'm not sure if they intended that, but um, I'll show that in a little bit at the end of the video here. And then the mortars, you can also, I like the light mortars a little bit better because uh, they fire faster and the reload. And But uh, pretty much mainly because you can dash cancel with these as well is why I take the light mortars. Uh, missile launchers. He's got some good, he's got actually really good missile launchers. Um, he has uh, some missile launchers that are required to have an air raider to use, like the Phoenix and the Haytail and the Leviathan. Uh, the thing with the Leviathan is it has a very small reticle to lock on, so say if uh, the air raider is like lasering a target and it's moving around and he has to adjust, it's sometimes hard to, to uh, to lock on long enough because it takes a long time to lock on with this thing before you connect before he moves and you have to re readjust your aim so what you can have the air raider do is shoot the laser on the ground in front of you and then once your missile fires then you can have him laser the actual target and then guide it that way to make it easier for you uh, the haytail is it's a big reticle so it's not a big deal pretty much his main missile launchers that are great are the arcane six barrel and the high altitude um, pretty much I take these if I want to stay in the back of the map and just take out uh, targets from far away and just this uh, bomb bomb areas is pretty good and they ha they have pretty good uh, decent reloads I guess these the arcane six barrels better reload than the uh, high impact uh, one thing you can do with the high impact and the arcane and the arm hound is once you lock onto the targets 
and you're ready to let go of the trigger to fire, you can always aim up in the air so that you don't hit yourself. Because sometimes if you're walking forward or if something gets in front of you, it'll you know hit you and, and hurt, damage you instead. So you can always just look up after you let go or before you let go of the trigger. And some of these blood storms are kind of cool, um, but it's very limited use in my opinion. Uh, that's pretty much all the weapons. Now I wanted to show pretty much dash canceling and uh, show some setups that I like with the fencer. Um, pretty much I'll show the hammer with the uh, catapult setup. Hammer with catapult is good if you're trying to take out like nests or uh, even robots. I mean Hector's it's, it's pretty good with um, it doesn't really matter, honestly, if you use the 14 catapult or the 52. It's just the 52 will give you 50 more shots before you have to reload, which is not that big of a deal. Um, and then my second setup, I'll use uh, the blast hole spear and then the, the catapult as well. I usually like to have at least one catapult setup, and then the other, the other, the other setup will be a uh, slower, a slower movement, higher hitting. Uh, damage, or at least or a ranged, or ranged attack. But as far as the dash cancel, pretty much any weapon that will dash you forward, you can dash cancel with. And usually it's the, the first column, as far as I know. Or second, first and second column. So the, the, the Vulcan Hammer, if you do secondary, it'll dash forward like this. And this is as fast as you can dash. But if you fire the catapult, which, like this, is hold down the trigger for the catapult, and then while you're holding down the trigger, just keep tapping dash. All of a sudden it cancels the dash animation, you can dash faster. So this right here alone is just changes the whole fencer class. Um, and the benefit with the hammer is you can, you know, claw the controller, so you hold down the trigger for the hammer, and then you can, while you're dashing around, you can still hold and charge the hammer. And then, you know, go to a nest and then release some damage and then dash away and kite some enemies and get back around to a safe spot, go back in for more damage, you know, do it again and just keep repeating. And the, the benefit of the catapult is it's got a quick reload, so when you have to reload it, it's only, what, three or four seconds. And also with a catapult, you also have not just forward dashing, you can also dash straight up. The catapult will let you dash straight up, so you can dash straight up and then over. So if you need to get up a hill or something, you can benefit with that as well, and then just keep dash canceling once you hit the ground. And then also, you can do a blast hole spear. Um, Blast Hole Spear attacks two different times. The first time is a shorter attack and less damage. The second time is uh, a higher damage. So what you can do is you don't have to, you know, shoot them both back to back. What you can do is you can dash, shoot one, dash again, shoot the second one. As long as you, you know, don't wait too long in between them, you can keep moving while you're attacking. And as you notice, as I'm attacking, I'm still sliding on the ground. So I'm still moving the whole time that I'm fighting at using the Blast Hole. That's one benefit of it. I'm going to show a couple more setups here with that. Um, something you can do with the, the jackhammer is um, at least, uh, you can do it above ground or underground, but one thing I do like to do with the jackhammer is equip the jackhammer with a shield. I'll show that here as well. So jackhammer and then one of the uh, reflector shields, doesn't matter which one. And I'll do for the second setup. The second setup, well, I'll do the, the double twin blast spears and show that. So you can dash cancel with the shield as well. Um, what you do is you use the reflect, the secondary, the reflect part with the shield to dash. So that, that reflect part will cancel your dash. And then you can dash again, but it's not as fast. As you can see here, it's about half as fast. At least it feels like it. But one thing you can do is, if you need to, if you're ever using a shield setup, do do note that the best way to change weapons, like if you need to get away, like say you know your dash, your dash, you know shield dashing away from the enemies and they're getting around behind you or you're in danger, as long as you dash, as long as you hit the dash button before you change weapons, you can change weapons instantly. So right after a dash, switch in, switch weapons instantly and get away. So I usually like to have a, a fast setup on my second secondary set. Uh, but so pretty much, you know, dash and then reflect, dash, reflect. That's how you um, use the re the dash reflect shield. Um, as far as the jackhammer, though, what you can do is you can uh, you can just hold down the jackhammer and then 
spam dash in between it so you can attack and dash at the same time really fast actually. Sometimes I'll do this underground in the cave, but that's that's really the only benefit I like with the jackhammer because it's not terrible, but like I said, it doesn't attack more than one enemy. And it does it doesn't slide you don't slide as much with it and it's hard to stay mobile with it. So I don't really care for it as much. Um, you can also do twin blast spears, double twin blast spears. This is, I think, the fastest dashing in the game, and by far the most damage. Uh, pretty much, you dash, you know, attack, dash, attack. And just use all your ammo on one hand, and then once that hand is out of ammo, then you switch to the other hand, and then you're constantly, you're constantly able to move the whole time, and not having to reload ever, or not even having to stand still ever. So, like I said, this is the most damage in the game, as far as I know but there's no uh, damage reduction on these things. And they're a little bit hard to get used to because you can't you can't pretty much be running away from a set of enemies as they're charging you and, and attacking from behind you because it pushes you forward. As you see, I'm just standing in one spot as I'm, you know, attacking from behind. Whereas if you have another weapon you can you can attack while you're while you're dashing away from the enemy, especially the spine driver or, or the um blast hole. So uh but if you want to take out nest fast, I mean this is ridiculous. These things are so so damaging. It's just you have to be more precise and more careful with these things. And they have really close range too, which is unfortunate. And then the last setup, which is usually I use as my second. Like usually I'll do a catapult and a uh, hammer, or a catapult and a blast hole, or a catapult and a spine driver, or double twin spears. And then my second setup will be. This, it'll be slower, but it'll be uh, more range. So what I, I like to use is any kind of dash weapon, usually a uh, usually a blast hole, and then a NC cannon. And then I'll show as well. On the other hand, you can do the same thing with a uh, a slow moving weapon as well. You can use a heavy mortar or a battle cannon as well to get around and still get around fast because usually if you use that weapon you're limited to speed but if you equip the dash weapon it'll allow you to uh, cancel that long animation of the battle cannon or the mortar, heavy mortar. So this is my favorite uh, ranged attack or ranged weapons because um, this has like a six or eight hundred meter range and it penetrates enemies as well, this hand cannon. As you see, if I shoot right here, this is as fast as you shoot with this cannon right here. However, if you dash shoot, you can shoot twice as fast, or at least it feels roughly twice as fast. So I'd much rather have a uh, NC cannon and a dash weapon than a uh, two NC cannons because I can shoot just about the same speed, maybe not quite as fast, but but I can stay mobile the whole time. So I can you know shoot airships down while I'm moving around. And then, you know, whenever you have to reload, all you have to do is just dash and shoot your blast hole. Dash, shoot your blast hole. So you're still mobile the whole time and attacking the whole time. And then you can go back to your NC cannon. And that's the key in this game is always to stay mobile. However, you don't have to just be limited to the NC cannon. You can also do it with a heavy cannon. So what you can do is dash, shoot, and then dash again. And then line up again, shoot. Because normally this is how long it would take to, to get your animation back. So you shoot this thing, and then right now I gain control again. That is ridiculous. Or however, if you use a, a dash weapon, you can cancel animation and keep moving. So I like a. You can use a spine driver, or you can use a blast hole. I like the blast hole better, but uh, you're going to have to usually dash, shoot twice before you can shoot the cannon again. So twice, and then shoot again dash with the spine driver and then shoot again. So that allows you to still stay mobile using the heavy weapon, which I like. I like a lot as well. Also, uh, as far as the shields, do note that uh, if you're fighting like Silver King spiders, um, you can one or two shot them with their own web with the shield. Um, you can, of course, reflect back, you know, Queen gold spiders or gold uh, ants and wasps you can you can um, queen wasps you can shoot back so so that's important to, especially on harder difficulties you're going to want to have 
usually my setup is um, something like this. Uh, let's see, easy. I like the twin spears better, or the or the blast hole, and then like an NC cannon or a heavy cannon. So that's my long range heavy attacks, and then you know mobility as I'm reloading with the blast hole, and then my second setup will be a fast well fast movement. So either something with a catapult or um, double twin blast spears. Um, if you need a shield, I would recommend, uh, I don't know, I go back and forth on as far as uh, spine driver or blast hole spear with the shield, but um, if, you do use, if you do use a shield setup, um, in my opinion, you're going to need a fast movement setup on the other hand to get away once enemies flank you or you're in trouble. So the fast movement would be the double twin spears or a dash weapon with a catapult. So, um, blast hole and then catapult. So that's my fast movement to get away, and then this is my uh, shield to fight, uh, you know, heavy the queens or king spires or whatever. Or I'll switch out the shield setup with a uh, with the NC cannon setup to uh, do range attack. Um, I see people do. Um, like double hammers, like this, Balkan finest, and then double axes, or double or double uh, blades, either one. They also they also work. But unless you unless you're playing on Inferno with like a hundred k armor or fifty k armor, sixty k armor, you're probably going to die with this setup. And my opinion is, if you can't do it on hardest difficulty with limits on, then your your setup isn't very good. If you can if you can survive hardest with limits, then your setup is going to make it an inferno. So, pretty much what you do is you just charge up both hammers like this, and then you dash, let go one hammer, dash, let go the other hammer, dash, let go the other hammer, and just repeat. And then once you re once you have to reload a hammer, then just don't charge it up all the way. Just make sure you make sure you tap the the the, uh, the hammer right away, even though it's blue charge, so you can still have your 90% damage reduction. You don't get destroyed. Like right now, see, I'll keep I'll attack early with the Vulcan hammer, and then the finest will be normal, and then just keep repeating that. Um, like I said, the, the problem with this is you're going to be swarmed a lot in this game, and if you get swarmed, it's so hard to change weapons from the double hammer setup. Like right now, I'll try and switch. I'm tapping the button. That was as fast as I could switch. By then, you could be one shot by ants, and usually, if you're in trouble, then you're probably going to be low health anyway, and you get destroyed. Same with the force axes or the blades. You can charge and then let go. Usually, you don't want to charge full. You want to charge till it's yellow, so you don't dash forward. But this will penetrate enemies as well, so you can just keep you know kiting around the map and attacking enemies as they come at you. But as you can see, my dashing is half the speed of a catapult, so. I still think that, <coughs> excuse me, I still think that a catapult is a setup is necessary, or, or a double a blast uh, twin spears, because you need to get away fast sometimes. Sometimes you just have to go, and this is not going to be fast enough to get away from gold ants. This is not going to be fast enough to get away from silver spires that jump over your head. I mean, you'll notice this more in higher difficulties, but that's just my opinion. I'd much rather have a catapult with the axe or a catapult with the, with the blade so that I can get so I can get away, move fast while I'm attacking because I'd much rather have mobility and kill and take longer to kill than to have the double axes and might, might, you know, might get killed myself. So let me see if that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, pretty much that is as far as I can tell everything that I was covered. I'm probably going to go ahead and do the other classes as well. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.